Good afternoon, Facebook friends and likers and followers. We are back today with a quick recipe for beef enchiladas. I have my hamburger browning in a skillet. I'm going to chop some onion and add that. I'm also making the caramel topping for my caramel top brownies because I got a request from my friend that's recovering at home now that she's out of the hospital and she didn't get any of the last batch because she was in the hospital and I was really busy last week and I didn't get up to see her like I'd like so Jennifer I'm working on it darling okay so get that done boy those melted really nicely what I've done here for the topping for my brownies and you just make brownies according to the recipe on the box of whatever brownies you make make sure they're a 19 inch or 19, a 13 inch by 9 inch pan brownies because mine wasn't but I added an extra egg which took care of it my pan was 9 by 12 that I bought and so Excuse me while I finish this. It has to get warm and fixed up. Now I have some onions right here. I think you can see me. Oh, I don't know. There's a gray line on my pad. Sometimes I think you can't see below that line. So, let's just... You should be able to see me. All I'm doing is dicing an onion. This is an onion I had left over from yesterday. A couple pieces of onion I had left over. So I'm just going to dice it up, add it to my hamburger. And as it browns and finishes browning, we're just going to throw a bunch of stuff together. There's no real recipe. Whatever you like, you can put in your enchiladas. I do use enchilada sauce since they are enchiladas. And uh, I use half the can in the bottom of my dish before I put my uh, enchiladas in there. And I also pour the other half of the can over the top of the burritos once they're in the pan. So that takes a 10 ounce can, or if you'd like a little more, open two cans. Okay, now there we've got all our onions chopped. Let me check my sauce over here real quick. Warm. Mm. I'm telling you. All you have to do, this is it. Make your brownies according to the package directions. Take them out of the oven, let them cool off, but still be warm. You want them warm. And then you melt one stick of butter in a pan. And when it's pretty well melted, you add, uh, I believe it's 10 ounce bag, I'm pretty sure. I think that's the only size they come in anyway, of the Reese's chips, Reese's peanut butter chips. You add that in until the chips melt. Then you add one can, 14 ounce, can of sweetened evaporated milk and you let that mix up real well with that and get warm so and then all you do is pour it over your brownies and let it set and it's the easiest recipe the quickest for a last minute treat as long as you keep a brownie mix and the, the peanut butter chips and some sweetened condensed milk most people have butter, and uh, you can have that ready in about an hour. Okay, excuse me while I go off camera to pour this over my brownies, 
And I hope you're all having a good Monday after a busy weekend. I hope you, all you dads out there had a great Father's Day. Got to see, see your kids. We didn't see either one of our boys this time, but we heard from them, so that's pretty good. So there you go. The brownies are done. Brownies are done. All you got to do is just let them set. Shut your burner off. <laughs> I have a problem getting busy. A lot of times your your uh, enchiladas will just have like seasoned beef and onions maybe inside. I like to add stuff. So you can go to Pinterest. There are always a gazillion recipes for whatever you're looking for. Now I've got some of my own homemade salsa that I'm going to put in. You can buy a jarred salsa. And I don't know if I'm going to put in one cup or two. This is a two cup box or two cup jar. And it's pretty thick. So I think my canned tomatoes over here will make a difference in that. Can you see this? I hope you can. It's I'm only going to use half this hamburger mixture today. That'll make me uh, like eight enchiladas. And the rest I'll freeze for a later date. And then I will just have to assemble enchiladas. Tonight we'll have these and I'll probably have uh, some of my low carb slaw because coleslaw because I have just a little bit of that left and I'd like to use it up. I don't want it to go bad. So, busy, busy, busy weekend, busy day today. And I've got two people. I'm also making my homemade buttermilk biscuits and each gets a container of my sausage gravy. So they've got biscuits and gravy for dinner tonight or tomorrow, whichever they like. And I'm so glad to do it. These are great friends. Do do so many nice things for me that I can't tell you. So this is just a little paint it forward, as they say. I'm just gonna throw a few tomatoes in here. A little soupy. I don't want too much of their juice. Turn the heat up on this a little bit. Try and cook down some of that juice. Where's my... Okay, be right back. I want to strain some of this juice out of my tomatoes. me on Facebook. Just search Cat's Cooking Kitchen or go to YouTube and you can search the same, same name, Cat's Cooking Kitchen. And you can follow me, follow my recipes. I've got several. My buttermilk biscuits are on there. My meatloaf, uh, hamburger steak, uh, my family's uh, crunchy garlic toast recipe is on there. That one's a big hit. That's one of my biggest viewed recipes so far. I've got uh, the caramel top brownies recipe is on there. Um, 
There's there's some others. Broccoli salad. I put up a broccoli salad that I like real well. And that's on there too. So that's several of them that are there. So we really, really like them. This has got to cook down for a little bit. It's a little, little juicy yet. But it's not going to take it long to cook and cook down. And as soon as it's ready to assemble, I'm going to be back and show you how I put them together. So you all hang tight. For you, it's only a second. And the video will continue. And let me tell you again, I can't say it enough. You might get sick of hearing it, but I don't get sick of saying it. I so appreciate the likes, the follows, the comments. It's, it's been wonderful. Just over two weeks now since I started this page and I'm having so much fun. So much fun posting some of my favorite recipes and uh, one coming up tomorrow, I believe, will be my chicken salad recipe. Just love my chicken salad. You can add an ingredient you like that I don't have in or take out any ingredients I have that you don't like. Uh, it's it's malleable. It's it's like Play-Doh. You work with it with what you like in it. But I really like mine. It's got a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. It's got bacon. It's got almonds and pecans. And if you don't like nuts or can't have nuts, leave them out. If you like almonds but not pecans, or the other way around, just leave one of them out and use all almonds or all pecans in it. It's it's up to you. So it's just been such a whirlwind last week, so busy. And I still managed to get quite a few recipes done and, and put up. I did my, uh, I have a biscuit uh, video by itself, but then when I did my uh, sausage gravy the other day, I was going to be making biscuits to go along with it. So I did the biscuits and the sausage gravy all in one video. So you can watch that. Kind of got heavy handed with the flour on the biscuits. I won't do that again. They turned out fine. They were delicious. They were flaky. They were tender. But when I was watching the video after it was finished, I noticed I got a little heavy with the flour. So we'll see how that goes. But I will be back shortly and we're going to assemble some burritos. Welcome back everybody. I realized after I shut off or as I paused the video, I'd forgotten to put in a small can of chopped jalapenos drain. They are four ounce can. Here, I'll just show you. It's just a little bitty can. And then two pounds of meat. It's going to go pretty far. They won't be terribly hot, just mildly. We like it kind of spicy with the tomatoes. Give it a nice little bit of a heat. Okay. We're ready to prepare our pan and then put them in the oven. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put my half my can of enchilada sauce right here in the bottom okay just let it roll around in your pan cover the bottom and I had already sprayed the baking dish with non-stick cooking spray and I'll use my regular teaspoon. I have some pepper jack cheese slices I'm going to put inside the burrito. Let's do one. Here we go. Hmm. Let's change the way I'm doing this because trust me if I don't, I would probably dribble all the way over. So, here we go. A couple spoonfuls. 
of meat for the center. Two or two good size helpings, two spoonfuls. Okay, we're going to take half a slice of pepper jack cheese. And I'm going to fold them up just a little. Kind of like a burrito instead of an enchilada because I don't like my filling falling out all over the place. And if I didn't, they'd be a little too long for this this small of a pan. So, no. That's all there is to it. I'll do a couple more. Take a big spoonful in the middle. Leave space at each end. Another half. Let's fold the ends over. And fold your burrito in. It doesn't matter if they have the little tails on them. You're just trying to keep your stuffing from falling out. And they do that a lot in an enchilada. So I decided to fold them kind of like a burrito. And this will make eight, so we will have plenty of extra to freeze and have for another evening's meal. I'll usually eat one. My husband will eat two or three, depending on what we're having with it, which isn't a lot tonight, so I think he'll probably eat three. Here we go again. Okay. Uh, we may have to finagle here. This pan isn't as big as I thought, but we'll get them in, and then they'll bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. I like to have plenty of meat. Put a couple in the side here. Get tortillas out of the bag. So easier than reaching in the bag. And this is all there is to it. So I will continue to put my filling on the burritos and my half a slice of cheese. I don't know about you guys, but my weekend was a mess. Pollen, something's blooming, and my eyes are still terribly, terribly sore. So, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and finish and show you how I top them off. A second, things go really quickly. Actually, it's a it's really quick. It's really quick. And if you like are working all day and you want to come home and do something simple like this, do your filling the night before and just kind of plan ahead just a little bit. And uh, you can have a meal in about. 30 and 45 minutes and I'm using a lot more <laughs> I'm using a lot more of meat than just a pound so there won't be quite as much left over but what this also makes uh, use of the leftovers is you can make uh, I call them Mexican potatoes you can either put them over a baked potato or do some fried potatoes Cover them with this and then add some cheese on top. It's really good. Simple, simple meals. You just
especially when you're working, you've got a house full of kids, summer's busy with all kinds of 4-H, baseball, cheerleading, parades, whatever sport your kids are into that's in season, and even on school nights when basketball starts, football starts. If, I mean, we had three, three sons that were all into sports, every one of them. So we spent a lot of time at different kinds of facilities. Plus, they all did 4-H and they all did something different. One was in rabbits, one was in chickens, one was in goats. So we were kept fairly busy. My husband was still playing fast pitch softball at the time. So mom did a lot of the running because daddy was off and doing his sports, which was great. The only problem with that was I was jealous when I didn't get to go because I loved, loved watching them play. Okay, now you've seen I poured the rest of the enchilada sauce all over my uh, beef enchiladas, and we're going to cover them with a little bit of cheese. Not, not a lot, because about five or ten minutes before I take them out, I'll probably top it with some more of this, maybe almost all of it. That's it for about 30 minutes, people. While they bake, I'll put you on hold, and I'll show you the finished product here in a second. Welcome back. Here we are at the end of our video. Our enchiladas are finished. They look really good. And they will be dinner later tonight. And I will add an update to the Facebook page uh, how they turn out. But I tasted the uh, seasoned beef in between pauses and it's really good really good it's going to be good for dinner tonight I'll top with a little chopped lettuce and fresh tomato probably sour cream and it's just going to be a really good dinner and it's done so now I'm off to make a double batch of my buttermilk biscuits and I hope the rest of you all have such a good day and good week. And remember to find the joy and happiness in your heart. And try to make, or not make, try to have other people realize that, that there's happiness every day. Sometimes we have to look pretty deep for it. Some days we don't feel like there's any happiness left in our lives at all. Things are going bad. Lost your job. You've got medical issues. But every day is a blessing. Every day. And the people around you that love you and care for you and look after you and are there for you, those are the people that we want in our lives, want to keep in our lives. So let's go out. Let's smile. Let's be friendly. And let's just make somebody's day. Okay? It's, it's a small thing to do. And just, I have done this, I don't know for how many years, but I would pay for somebody behind me in a drive-up line. And I, I did it just to pay kindness forward. Maybe somebody did a kindness for me and I wanted some way to pay it forward. And I did that. And for years. And now twice in the last year, somebody has done that for me. What a blessing, what a wonderful feeling to think somebody took enough time to think about somebody other than themselves. And that's what, else, that's what it's all about. So go out, volunteer, uh, help, help a club or a group that you like real well, and... Uh, just be the best you. Be the best you you can be. I try. I fail sometimes. Miserably sometimes. But I never stop trying. So go on out there, everybody. And please keep coming back. Keep trying out my recipes. And let me know. 
let me know what you think. If you make one, let me know. And I really, really appreciate y'all. Thanks so much. Till next time.